Lorcana, Star Wars Unlimited, Pokemon, One Piece, Flesh and Blood, Magic the Gathering. How do three game store owners keep up with all the TCGs? Stick around to find out. Welcome to the Dice, Cards, and Coffee videocast, a tabletop videocast hosted by three game store owners talking about tabletop games and the industry. Today we're talking about TCGs. As you heard from our introduction, there are so many TCGs coming out right now. And how do we keep up as game store owners and maybe even just like as players ourselves? Like how do we stay up to date? Do we collect? What do we do? Um, before we get into more so like the nitty gritty of the topic, I want to just uh, talk about our experience and what we do with TCGs at our store. Mm -hmm. So if anybody wants to start, maybe we'll start with the, the expert here who's been doing TCGs for, for some time now. Um, okay. So yeah, uh, as a gamer, I first time was back in 96, maybe 90 or earlier. My brother played Magic. And then I play his one of his deck with him because he wanted to play. Um, I still remember I he had a red deck, a green deck, and a black deck. And then it was like you know, royal assassins, Shivan dragon, mm -hmm. singer vampire. You know the yeah, the, the, the original stuff. cards. It was it was fun. Um, I mean, I was little. I purely didn't understand what was going mm -hmm. on, but um, but I you know I remember playing that. And later in life, some other friends were like. Oh, let's try this magic. I was like, oh, I remember magic. And we do some drafts. And then um, got back into it uh, after playing Catan. I started going back to uh, LGS. And then, oh, I remember magic. And then I started doing a lot of magic, a lot of board games, a um, lot, of, lot of, for magic specifically, I did a lot of drafts. I, I was like, this is great. Yeah. I think drafting still to date is the best way to play magic. Um, and uh, Do you still play today? Uh, once in a while, uh, okay. if it's an uh, uneven uh, player, I'll sit in just so, you know, yeah. the drafting experience is, you know, okay. the eight seed or there's no buys for someone. Right. Um, and then I'll just give them the win, you know, so it's, it's just something they could, you know, so they don't have to sit around and wait, yeah. um, stuff like that. But, um, okay. Uh, other than that, that's like my player experience, I guess. Yeah. Or, TCGs. Um, I do know how to play Pokemon, Orkana, and all the other ones because um, uh, it's a lot easier to sell the product or teach the product if you know how so to play it. So what do you do as a store TCG-wise wise then? Oh, right now it's Magic, Pokemon, Orkana, hmm. uh, One Piece, and we are going getting into Star Wars Unlimited. And you've been doing TCGs f ever since you opened. You yes, open Magic. You look at Absolutely. go back to today's episode, yeah. and you'll know. Uh, yeah. Started with Magic and got into Pokemon about like six, seven, eight years ago. Yeah. And then kind of branched out, and now you're doing the ones you mentioned: One Piece, Star mm -hmm. Wars Unlimited, Pokemon. You've tried some others. Yes, we tried uh, Flesh and Blood. We tried uh, Dragon Ball, mm. Digimon. Um, Meta Zoo. <laughs> Meta Zoo. Meta Zoo. <laughs> that, so that's, um, that's maybe a topic we can talk about uh, in a minute. Yeah, They're no longer okay. a company. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah. But, you know, to each their own, I think they're were, they were good games. You know, mm. that they, they, some of them still have their communities. Um, but uh, actually, minus Meta Zoo. Uh, <laughs> get that out of there. Uh, but it's like locally for us uh, in the store itself, those other games that we used to do, you know, there wasn't enough, uh, for, you know, community for it yeah. to support it, you know, for sure. support. So now let's go to George. Um, just a little bit about maybe your background with TCGs personally and then what you do at Gaming Grounds with TCGs. Yeah, sure. So uh, I guess I'm the TCG hater out of this group. <laughs> um, I, I, I like uh, I like playing Magic. Um it's a love-hate relationship. <laughs> uh, I still play today. Um, I played when it first came out, uh, beta, actually. Um, that's when I started playing, and I've played competitively um, throughout my life in different different uh, venues, 
you know, played in nationals and in a pro tour and, hey, and whatnot. Pro tour. Yeah. Pro tour. Yeah, yeah. Didn't do so hot. <laughs> but it, getting uh, getting to it is hard itself. You know? Yeah. Now, you know, I play it, but it's like I hate the game because it's the only game that I've ever played that you can, like, sit there and not play the game. So, like, you get <laughs> hosed, you know, flooded, whatever. Hosed is the worst, you know. Like, yeah. you're sitting there and you're just watching your opponent beat you up and then, He's like, good game. I'm like, okay. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. Um, so because I love magic, I sell magic at the shop. But that is the only reason. And that's the only TZG that uh, we have at the shop. You did a little Lorcana. Uh, it, sort of. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We got, we got in one box. One box. And uh, it uh, sold out the, the first day. And then, yeah, that was that was it. That'll be a topic for TCGs yeah. too. Um, cool. So then, oh, I didn't want to ask. Do you have any beta cards um, still? I do have. Um, I, I probably do have some beta, but they're all commons and, mm. and whatnot. But still, yeah, they're still, worth yeah, something. Yeah. I think yeah. I, we have a common beta in our case that's like thirteen bucks or something. I have like stacks of cards, and yeah. like yeah. I have to go through. Them yeah, all. you should. You never yeah. know. Yeah. Um, Black Lotus. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I do have a story though. I had a um, my. Sister's boyfriend thought the game was the devil's game back mm. then. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and threw out uh, a starter oh. deck that I had with all my cards in it. And uh, it had a Jet Mox and, like, I think it was a <sighs> uh, Ancestral Recall. Yeah. You know, just I've, tossed. Yeah. Just gone. Yeah, my, my dad threw away. My, when my, brother were, my brother went to the Army, deployed, um, and then uh, no. he threw away his. No. No. He didn't have beta, but he had, he had some beta, not a lot, but he had, you know, like, Revised dual lands. Um, I remember he had the Gauntlet of Might. Um, mm, that and was then, a fun card. Yeah, in his red deck. Um, but yeah, he threw those away. And then you know, I think back then, like I wasn't really into Magic, so I like whatever. But down the road, you know, it's like, hey, why do we do like? Where's where's my Magic cards? Yeah, you should send your parents an invoice. <laughs> right. <laughs> So for me to, uh, I think Day and I kind of have a similar experience, not experience, but like thing with our stores where we do TCGs, but we also do like board games, Warhammer, other stuff. Um, but we do magic, Pokemon, mm -hmm. Orkana. We try to do one piece if we can get it in. Uh, we don't really host events for yeah. it. We're going to try Star Wars Unlimited. Yu-Gi-Oh! That's another we have a little bit of Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, we don't host no events for it. We mainly just stock Yu-Gi-Oh because people come in and ask for it, and then we can point them to some packs that we have, mm -hmm. and we sell a couple packs to mm -hmm. those people that come in. Um, but, yeah, I mean, we can dive into the topic. I know. what's What What would you say your percentage of business? Because, like, I'd say Dave's yeah. probably 90 to 100%. You know, pretty good. Yeah, 90%. Yeah, 90%. 90%. Yeah. What, mm -hmm. Mine's about so 5%. If you include, like, all of our events so. we do for stuff too. Yeah, probably yeah. like, probably about fifty percent. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 So we have fifty, ninety, um, and less than ten. like one. <laughs> <laughs> one. <laughs> yeah. Nice. I mean, yeah. I would say. I mean, it's hard because we also do like, kids programming mm -hmm. and stuff right. like that, and I classify that as our events, and then I also classify our draft as our events, and I haven't looked at like. Oh, okay. granularly like the difference between those two things okay. yeah events is its own category yeah i would say but you know you can still still i don't know about down. your pos but our pos you can go events and then to tell you the, you know trajectory of all the events which ones yeah okay. so um where do we want to start uh i kind of want to jump on lorcana because right. that yeah, was yeah. that was one it's thing hot. that yeah. that george mentioned is like and it's a general topic to talk about with tcgs and markets and launching the tcg mm -hmm. is the demand wasn't there and it's a good comparison to star wars unlimited that's coming out in like a week and probably is out when we launch this mm -hmm. video cast where lorcana did not print demand anywhere near demand right mm -hmm. and now you have unfortunately a store who maybe would have been interested in carrying it yep. and continuing it and supporting it but couldn't get product and now yeah. that store and it's not just stores like customers too right yeah. when it first came out i yeah. know i have customers that everyone's like, hitting up all the stores yeah. yeah like i had one customer who would ask two times a week for <laughs> two times like a week. 
three, four months yeah. for a first chapter. Right. And I just saw him the other day and he just walked past our store. And it's, you know, it's like, right. yeah. I, maybe he would have been a long term Lorcana kind of player right, if he right. could have got it in. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, maybe not. Maybe he was just interested because it was hyped at yeah, the time. Just to be so he didn't get hit. He didn't get the product. He never got it from us because okay. we never had it when okay. he stopped in. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, yeah. So like with that, which is interesting. Um, mm-hmm. I don't know if you guys have comments, but the flip side would be Star Wars Unlimited, which mm-hmm. it looks to be very healthy. Yeah. And anybody that wants to play it can pretty much get product when it first launches. Yeah. So. I think for Locana, um, yeah, it was super, super underprinted. Um, Ravensburger, uh, first, first of all, their board game company, first time doing TCG. Um, may, maybe they didn't d- deep, dig in, deep dig enough uh, for information of the TCG and collectible community, uh, maybe. And it's also Disney. Yeah, I was going to say, it's like, also Disney. It's which also is Disney. A huge draw. Um, to be f- like, Benefit of the doubt, so they have Disney board games, um, Villainous, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, which is popular. Um, yeah. I don't know what the sales look like for them, for Villainous overall. So maybe based off that is what they decided of how much of um, Lorcana to print right. in the, off for the first run. So, so you know, benefit of the doubt, maybe that's the reasoning behind, uh, you know. But the bottom line is they didn't have enough. Yeah, they didn't and have it enough. Hurt. Um, it did it hurt. hurt the, yeah. yeah. And to be fair, uh, I guess to everyone else out there that was wanting to get Locana, when did you want to get Locana? Was it when they did the D23 and people were like, oh, my God, this is $5 million, $5 million. Is that why you got interested? You know, Mm -hmm. like, why were you not interested before when they announced it? You know, did you did you contact your LGS before D23 or Gen Con? Right. Like, so how did how how does the store know to? Asked Ravensburger, hey, we want yeah. 500 yeah. boxes, you know? Yeah. Like yeah. Star Wars, they announced it and they were like, hey, you know? Yeah, they keep hitting you up. Yeah, they're, they're like, they're hey. like, hey, ask your customer if they want it. And yeah. I did that and people were interested. And that's true. There's a lot of inform- There's a lot of information for Star yeah. Wars Unlimited, like yeah. a, a lot of uh, ways to communicate with them and, and say, like, oh, this is kind of what I want out of it uh, from. I didn't hear about Lorcana for months. Like, I yeah. didn't hear anything from my yeah, yeah. Uh, reps exactly. or anything. Uh, so which it's, yeah. Sorry, I was just going to say, which is interesting, too. Um, and maybe I should we should preface this, like, we're going to be a little critical here. But, of <laughs> course, we know the companies, they know what they're doing. They're doing their best. Um, but oh, we're yeah. looking at, like, the results of what happened. But what's interesting is also, like, Lorcana didn't do that, and they didn't need to. On I wonder if it's... They, yeah, whether they did right. that purposely or whether, like, they just dropped the ball. Um, and then Fantasy Flight has a lot of history with right. launching with stuff, yeah. like a lot of organized play stuff. Yeah, Ravensburger, yeah, I think this is the first time they've yeah, done. Yeah, they're puzzle and just board games, right? I don't know if they've yeah. done any board game organized play stuff. Not that I know of. Yeah. Mm. So it's kind of, I mean, it's interesting. I, I really like Lorcana's organized play over Star Wars organized play personally. I think Day probably would like Star Wars Unlimited organized play over Lorcana's. So it's different, for right? It is, it is different. different. Uh, first off, Disney family family IP. Mm. Um, so their organized play is kind of catered to more fun and uh, friendly, I guess. Mm-hmm. So, it's you like know, achievement, achievement based. based. Uh, they, they have that the old classic sticker, you know, get a gold star board <laughs> going on. <laughs> um, so it is, uh, you know, it is Disney product. So they want to make it friendly and family oriented Mm -hmm. Um, as versus the Star Wars stuff. um, They pretty much took like the old magic, the gathering organized play where it's like, you got your weekly events and then we got the like regional and stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, Galactic. I like their brand. I'm talking about branding. The branding. branding branding Well, I mean, Star Wars, right? So I don't want to say it was easy, but it was kind of, (laughs) <laughs> it was kind of laid out for them. Um, I mean, Star Wars is a pretty big brand, too. You're talking about Disney, you know, yeah, it's being just, far-reaching. Yeah, there's a lot of Star online Wars argument getting, about, you know, uh, oh, Locarno's going to have Star Wars cards. And they're like, no, it's not, because Fantasy Flight is doing <laughs> Star Wars true. cards. So there's a lot of debate on that. But, it, <laughs> or Disney but, but besides that, organized play-wise, um, at for me, I really do like something more uh, friendly, you know? Mm. Not just like... Oh yeah, only first place is gonna get pricing. You know? Yeah, 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 you know, because uh, it helps bring in new players yeah. to the game. Like, um, that's why I think I mentioned uh, 
you know, talking um, from the past, that Lokana is, I think it's a great game for very new card game players. Yeah. Like the mechanics. And Pretty stuff. easy That's to play. Excellent. Yeah, yeah easy Magic to learn, light. you know, and then it's, I think it's great. Um, so. We should say that Lorcana is launching a more robust organized yeah. play system. Uh, May, here right? Soon too. I think yeah. it's May. May is when it's starting. So. Yeah. There are like world tournament stuff. It's going to be happening starting May. Um, but like for, I don't know how exactly you run your organized play for Lorcana. Um, so we kind of missed the organized play in the beginning and we just got it for Ink to the uh, Inklands. Okay. And then we're doing a little bit of mix. We're doing the. Uh, um, like a limited, like sealed, and your achievements, stuff mm. like that. And we're doing our Wednesday, like the you know, bring your constructed deck and yeah. points. Some of our customers were yeah. talking about your yeah. Wednesday so we wanted thing. to give you know a little bit, little bit of you know, play for both communities. You know, there are the hardcore like yeah, I'm gonna bring my best deck and win. You know, mm. and like limited, it's like all right, it's not bring your deck, it's open packs and you make right. a deck. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So like more even playing field, I would say, um, in that aspect. But so yeah, yeah, it's I think it's good to have variety of organized play for different uh, player base. For sure. Yeah, even Magic, there's competitive commander players. Like we recently had a competitive CEDH competitive commander um, tournament. We had a 50 players. It was pretty crazy. Um, That's pretty awesome. And then our weekly is our league is this point based system. Mm. And it's more casual, you know. So there's community for there's something for everyone, right. I would say. Oh, for commander players. For for <laughs> no, just players in general. There's always the competitive and then the casual. Well, for know. magic, it feels yeah. like it's just commander. That's all. Uh, currently, yeah. yeah currently, magic, currently, commander is a uh, modern is actually healthy too. Modern, okay. yeah. modern. Yeah. Do you do George? Do you do any organized play for any TCGs at your no. at gaming grounds? And but you've done like drafts and stuff. We do drafts here and there because mm -hmm. I like to draft, yeah. and we're doing like a league, uh, a sealed league right now. Oh, cool. Um, but you know, just fun stuff. I yeah, yeah. kind of just like uh, providing a variety of experiences for gaming grounds in general, yeah. and it kind of fills that. Or is it more just you like magic and you do it? It's more I like magic. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> and we play there, uh, but. Yeah, I mean, I, I want to. I'll hold things like we we got in a couple. What was it a cu customer? A few customers asked us to get in Force of Will, so we got mm. that in and sold it to them. Mm. And but they were the only ones that bought they it. Bought it. Um, so like, I, I'll be flexible and like, hey, yeah, you guys want this? Let's go for it. You know. Yeah. Um, but it, you know, for me, unless I'm going to dedicate a lot of space and a lot of uh, product to um, like grow that community. Um, I think I, I send them mostly to you guys. I <laughs> appreciate <laughs> it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hit them up. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, I guess to be clear, Gaming Grounds, uh, to me, is board, uh, games. board games and it's a uh, cafe. Cafe. So. Yeah. Mm. Um, yeah, that 1%. Yeah. That 1%. <laughs> that 1%. <laughs> <Of> TCGs. <laughs> Yeah, I think, I mean, uh, you mentioned something, George. A big aspect of a TCG is that community, too. Um, I mean, so to kind of give some perspective, um, One Piece for us. Super hot right now. Uh, if I had it, I would sell it instantly. Mm. I have not put any effort into growing a community, mm. and that makes me hesitant to order more of it even though i know if i order it it will it's sell right sell. away yeah because i don't know how the game's gonna do long term long for time. us as a store because we may not have that i mean we we tried to we did run a learn to play and we had two people come to that and i've had requests to run like mm. constructed stuff but it's very tough to run one piece events when we have no product too yes. so we're kind of in the boat where george was with Loricana not too long ago yeah, yeah. um but then on the flip side, looking at Lorcana for us, we're in the third set right now. And Lorcana, because it's a TCG, is very dependent on market, right? If someone sees a booster box for this set going for $110 on TCG player, they're not going to pay us right. what we are asking for right. a booster box, which is usually... Right. Uh, keystone if no one's familiar it's like we take our cost many times it by two that's the margin we always aim for we 
you don't always get there, especially with TCGs, but we like to get like at least 40%. Um, I was gonna say fifty percent for TCG. Yeah, forty wow. percent yeah. is like <laughs> where? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Pokemon. We get we get we get like forty to fifty percent of Pokemon, depending on the product of Pokemon. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's very good. Um, but like with set three for Larkana, the only reason we're doing well with it is because we built that community from mm-hmm. the start. Right. Like there's there's no way we would like if we didn't have that community, we'd that's be sitting on almost everything we've ordered yeah. for this set. But because we built that community and they yeah. like what we do and we can host events that also help us move product, it's a good TCG for us. Yeah. yeah. It also fits with, like, our business. We're very family-friendly, right. very, mm-hmm. like, casual uh, store as well. Yeah, for sure. Community, trying to, uh, having product available for community mm-hmm. is how you grow the community. That's, yeah. that's, a, big, uh, that's a big thing. One Piece, I... Hey, man, uh, yeah, Bandai. I so I don't know stop, anything. Stop printing other stuff. <laughs> <laughs> stop printing. I don't know anything about One Piece. One Piece. So what yeah. was? Well, give me, it's give a me very some, uh, very popular anime back. Uh, so back when, man, it was a big three back then. It was like Naruto, Bleach, One Piece was like the big three. Okay, long time ago, like two thousands, and then so it's been um, around for a while. So like Naruto pretty much won that war, and they were like the most popular. Okay, but One Piece it was still going. Right. And slowly, longevity. now it's, yeah, longevity. Now it's like the biggest anime I think uh, currently. Okay, um, I could be wrong. I'm not super into anime. So it's just kind of you know, back in my head hearing people talk. But uh, so okay, we'll, okay. so then, it's an anime like, show that's anime show into and a, then a, hey a card game. There's a card game for it. Okay, and then um, it was huge because uh, you know they got the fan base for One Piece right. and um, anime card games. The anime, the Bandai, I guess I'll call them the Bandai community. Okay. So Dragon Ball, Digimon, uh, um, they kind of play a little bit. So they make bit all of, those games. Yeah, they little, th- and gotcha. then the community kind of plays a little bit of everything. Mm-hmm. And then One Piece came out, so they all, you know, jumped into, jumped one, piece. into one Piece. So now you have those players, that the people who love One Piece getting into it, okay. collecting cards, and then eventually a lot of the people playing the game. Um, okay. uh, that's what kind of happened. And, and you can't get the product now. It's very hard to get uh, enough to support the community. We, okay. I don't know. So usually how distributors work is you order something and next time they'll either give you the same amount or at least a little bit more, mm. all right, optionally. Okay. One Piece is the only thing we've seen where we started with like over 100 and now we're like getting shrunk. It's like, mm. so what's oh. going on? And then I realized like they they made their stupid, their <laughs> Their own IP, That's uh, all right to complain. new IP, their own IP card game that does total flop. Okay. Um, Battle, Battle Spirits? Battle Spirits? Battle Saga? Is that? I, I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> that flop. And now they're doing... Um, it flops so bad, I can't remember. Now they're the printing name. other anime cards. Um, I think it's their... I don't know if you're familiar with Wise Shorts. Yeah. So Wise Shorts is a company that prints sets based off certain animes. Mm. And that set is just that anime. Oh, okay. So I think mm. I haven't really deep dived into it. Bandai is sort of doing that. And they're getting other animes just and printing that. And that's their set. So I think, I don't know how many printers they have, but I have a feeling that's why they're not printing as enough much. One Piece, even yeah. though One Piece is what, so popular. <laughs> uh, when did One Piece come out? How long has it been out? <sighs> so they're in set five. No, set six. Oh, man. oh wow. so it's been few so years. Yeah. Uh, like a year and a half. year and a half, yeah. I would say. Oh, okay. Yeah, a year and a half. Oh, okay. Yeah. So wow, a year and a half? So no. That Relatively feels so new. long ago. Yeah. I feel like it's yeah. newer than that, though. No. But it been must be a year and a half. Yeah, they've been out for lo- before Locon. Wow. So. so we were only open for like six months and one uh-huh. came out? Yeah, that sounds about right. Wow. But but anyways, <laughs> uh, so One Piece is still popular. Yeah. Um, uh, we, I mean, I don't want to downplay other stores or anything like that, but uh, market price is has always been over MSRP, mm. um, but we kind of do our best to uh, gotcha. make it close to MSRP. Yeah, um, sometimes sometimes if not lower, sometimes yeah. because going back to having product available for the community, right? right. So like we right. limit. We used to be able to do six boxes per customer, and now we're down to like I think two boxes per customer because mm. we have so many players now yeah. that we can't. You know, give so that you're, you're going down as well. 
from like your your manif- your oh yeah distributor is going down yeah. and what he's giving you you have to go down yeah to we have you to give your yeah. customers because yeah. yeah. we start it's with like forty players then now we're going called to trickle like down economics or something <laughs> and so um but it's important because you know when we do tournaments they need the cards to yeah. play if they don't have I'm the sure. cards then mm-hmm. you know they don't want to compete in a tournament where they don't have all the cards for their decks mm-hmm. um but I think it's uh that's where yeah. one piece is at right now. Okay. What's what's kind of interesting too, and we kind of touched on it, is the idea of customers and even us as game store owners spreading across these product lines, right? Yeah. Mm. It's 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 kind of nice for us as a store, as long as we still have uh, people buying the product across the board, because it is nice to have you know eggs in different baskets mm-hmm. as you'd yeah. say yeah. like that is that is it's, kind of a benefit uh, to it for us yeah it makes sense but it also looking at it from the other side which is kind of maybe a drawback is one customer who is really into pokemon maybe is now into one piece mm. right so yeah we, it, we pull you know it's the same sh- customer right essentially um uh you might and then you're going to lose it if you don't have the product that that person right. wants now yeah mm. so that's like what you were talking about building product, you want to have that product yeah. to build the customer or mm-hmm. community yeah. base. Um, um, it it definitely does happen. People move, switch TCG, which is what happened with Dragon Ball and Digimon to One Piece. To One Piece. That's mm. th- that's how. Dragon that's Ball literally Digimon what happened with Bandai for us. <laughs> we did Dragon Ball. It was cool. People were playing, and then Digimon came out, and then there was a little split, and eventually we got rid of Dragon Ball, and Digimon was doing decently and then one piece came out and uh everyone switched mm. and so now we got rid of digimon and okay. we're doing one piece so it's uh-huh. it's scary like you one day there's a new dragon ball card game coming out yeah so there's who also knows? like attack on titan uh which is another popular one that <laughs> is I another band is good. oh wow. it's another anime and then um i didn't know there was one What's their what's the company? Uh Darrington Press is doing a Darrington TCG. Press. They do critical role. Darrington does a critical role TCG? Uh it's associated with Critical Role Darrington Press somehow. Um I don't know exactly what it is. We'll probably order okay. a little bit of it because it kind of fits with like RPG mm-hmm. stuff that we do yeah. on TCGs. And critical is some you know, I think yeah, popular. It's so. kind of just something that we'll we'll stock a little bit of it and see. See where it goes. Yeah. Um but yeah, there's so many TCGs. Yeah, yeah. and then, <laughs> and there's ov- obviously just magic been around magic, for yeah. the first, you know, first of its kind. And yeah, we're t- we're just talking about all these different TCGs, and then you talk about magic. Magic, magic is like a whole, uh, like there's a whole several episodes to talk about magic. Well, there's yeah. So much product. Yeah, and so much product like with magic. Yeah, that too. Out. Yeah, keeps, you know. So, so I guess. Let me jump into Pokemon then. I think okay. I think Pokemon has too many products, like Magic. They have too many. Pokemon. So they have too many product line. Like Magic like has skews. Magic is coming out with too many sets. Uh, sets. Right. Like product. Yeah. But Pokemon. Pokemon has too many are, different types of products. Yeah. They are like man. They yeah. have different tins, TV, different tin. boxes, special boxes. Yeah. Do they all? They, boxes. Boxes. they don't all play together. No, they do. Oh. Uh, I mean, there's a rotation, but uh, for the so. gist of it, yeah, they okay. do. Um, but there are just so many. I think they can literally cut that in half, and it'll still be a lot. fine. <laughs> like, yeah, we had to cut back on a lot of the other product lines because yeah. it was yeah. just like there's just too much. Mm. There's no space for all of them. Okay. So, but uh, magic. So Do you carry Pokemon? <sighs> let me let me check for me. <laughs> uh, all that. Yeah, all of that. Up all there. that. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, it's crazy. So like, so it does well. So like. Pokemon's a solid. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's good. It's to and me, it's, I feel I mean, I don't want to say it's more popular than Disney, but I think it's it is. It's, as a overall brand, Pokemon's the best selling overall, IP. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But um as far as like well, cards. Yeah, because yeah, oh, Disney's yeah. just started. Though. Oh yeah, Disney like, just started. Yeah. But I'm talking about in general. So like in general, people know Pokemon. In general, people know or I would say more people know Disney just because it's been a lot longer. Yeah. But no, but I would like Pokemon is if you look at merchandising, anime, all that. Oh, Pokemon oh, yeah, sold as a whole. more than any other IP yeah, in the yeah, world. Yeah. No. Yeah. And that's which is 
Huh. Kind of. That's interesting. Yeah, yeah it's, it's not it's something you would think yeah. about, but Pokemon no. is the best selling IP. Yeah, which it is. is. That is pretty. That's crazy, why. Actually. That's why people will you know come in. Oh, Pokemon! I'll buy a, uh, uh, I'll buy a pack or two because you know I know Pokemon. Wonder but I do think Disney has more. Yeah, they have branding, more, they have more awareness. Known, like people know of it because it's Pokemon. been out since yeah. I don't know what. I've it's so old. Yeah. Um, that's what. That's the only reason why people know Disney is because their grandfathers talked about it or had it or something like that right so the father's father's, yeah, father's father father's watched right. mickey mouse so on it's the kind of like black and white down, passed down to generations like oh let's go to disney world you know yeah. Yeah. you know i won the i won the tournament where are you going oh i'm going to disney world right so <laughs> it's in that aspect oh, wait is that what you get when you win the lorcana uh, championship there you know people like to speculate like <laughs> that's where it's going to be held you know the world championship disney That'd be world, awesome. all that stuff. Like, i think it would be with cool. all the characters walking around it, you I while you're you know what i think oh, it'd be cool and honestly i would not be surprised if it happens yeah, yeah. yeah mickey mouse like um but i wonder if you can dress as mickey mouse and play in the tournament yeah i mean i don't know their uh there's dress a, code but there's <laughs> an achievement thing for the league if you dress up like a character you get really? extra points okay. yeah. Oh, yeah. we had some people do that a lot wait do you follow league. the exact things they give you or yeah you, okay it's just easy copy paste oh yeah i guess I we have a couple other extra things like do something nice for someone in the league and mm. get stuff, and that's up to the discretion oh, of dude, whoever's right. here. Uh, so people will bring snacks. People oh, will like nice. you cookies. Know, yeah, like one player, yeah. she makes buttons for people. Like uh, cool. she takes the pack and creates a button, and you know, so we yeah. we give them. Um, I it heard helps grow the community. there was a uh, I read on Facebook. Um, there was an anonymous post on a, a Disney Lorcana Facebook group page, and then it was about the league. Mm. So I guess one kid oh. was uh, someone was, it was staff. Or no, no, that's well. It was yeah, a staff yeah, kid I saw or something. Post, yeah, and then he would he would um, teach new players, and that's how you get points. Okay. Yeah. And then at the end of the league, they were awarding like the prizing, and he, that kid was first because he earned so many points. Oh right. Because he was yeah. you know teaching. playing and teaching and yeah. all that stuff, and everyone was like not happy with that. I was like, that's interesting because they kind of. Mm. I mean, I wouldn't I say, don't say game, game the system because that's. I have a lot of experience with gamification and setting yeah, up stuff like that. Yeah. So I knew, like, uh, I, I'm really conscious about how we set up our league. Mm -hmm. And that's mm -hmm. why, like, up to the discretion of the league player. Like, right. And then the awards, everybody gets the same opportunity for the same awards. So everybody gets, there's right. five levels. Level one, you get there. A pack, level two, a pack, level three, a pack, level four, you get a random promo card. Level five, you get a raffle entry into oh. winning one of them. Mm. So even if you, even if... And the goal is for it. Like, we want every single person to complete the sheet. Like, that's... Right. They pay for it up front, pretty mm -hmm. much. And then every person gets the same opportunity to win the prize. As pretty long cool. as they're coming and playing. Maybe right. they miss a week, but they can make up for it. Yeah, make, right. I think making yeah. up is very important. If you don't offer to make up, then it's, it's yeah. a feels bad, you know? Yeah. yeah. Um, Leave someone But, behind. yeah, I, I mean, I can see that. Yeah, that can yeah. happen because... Yeah. In my mind, I was like, why don't they limit, limit the points, you know, for it? Yeah, right. limit the points. I think it's just... See, or it's or it's every two people you teach, you get a point. The yeah. end goals should be the same for every participant, yeah. right. and figure out how to get people to that end goal. Yeah. Right, the yeah. easiest. Yeah, we had an issue with when we started doing our commander league uh, point based system, achievement point. Mm -hmm. um, people would farm points. Like, yeah. Yes, the game could have ended, but hey, I guess uh, yeah, not end the more. game and see that's so that's more interesting. Points, you know? right? so, yeah. And then you learn and be like, all right, maybe just the rules and stuff like that. Like. Okay. I knew that was going to happen with how the achievements were set up for Lorcana, mm -hmm. and I'm fine to encourage that because again, we just want everybody to complete the sheet. Yeah, it doesn't matter how you get there and what you do, just complete, complete the, the sheet. sheet. Like, have fun doing it. Yeah, and that's kind of the yeah. goal. And then everybody gets the same opportunity. We're doing a little bit different. And anybody listening as a store owner, I am kind of happy with how we're doing the league this time because the majority of our league members who have been league members from the very start mm -hmm. are going to get uh, maybe I, I don't know if both. More than likely, majority will get a pin, a tracker, or the sleeves because they gave us a little bit more of those extra goodies. And then okay. we're only doing a league one round for six weeks instead of three rounds for four weeks, mm -hmm. which kind of drags on. So, because uh, those are the things that people really want those pins. Yeah, the pins and, the and sleeves. Right. Yeah. All those extra promo you, stuff. That's the only All way the you swag. Get it. And, you know, because there's less of those than the promo cards, right? So there's more promo cards out there. Yeah. Um, so I do want to share one more thing before we maybe hop into a convention segment. Oh, yeah. I do like how TCGs are excellent, and I wish 
I mean, board game or board game companies kind of do this. RPG companies a little bit with like offering digital stuff, but they mm. offer a lot of promo materials. Like most TCG, that's kind of a standard. Maybe Magic made it that way. Yeah, I mean, promo cards definitely promo uh, is, a, is a thing. So, but what I realized doing for the longest time we did promo cards, where I realized is in the beginning, people want it, but then after two three weeks. Nobody cares. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, then you got to do it. Yeah, it's. yeah. And then Magic was like, "All right, now we're gonna do these promo packs. Well, They're gonna get randomly a card with right. a promo's uh, logo on it." Mm. And I was like, "Oh, that's actually better because you don't know what you're gonna get. They're gonna keep coming right. and playing. Right, you get different things. Yeah, different things. So yeah. that's yeah. why I really like what Magic did, um, which is Star Wars. They're piggybacking off that, and mm. I think it's great. Oh, okay. Um, they're also doing promo packs. Oh, nice. Um. Orkana is the promo cards, but they're doing the pins, the sleeves, yeah, all the extra stuff. Uh, Pokemon used to be just promo cards, um, so that was kind of like whatever too. Um, but we'll see where they go. Cause they do the prize packs now. Yes, they did. Yeah, I guess they did copy Magic and do yeah. prize packs. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think uh, offering everything, everything is derivative of Magic because you all like what TCGs. You need people in the stores playing for the most part, yeah. like. The community, you need the community. <sighs> I would say the only TCG you don't need that now is Pokemon, right? Well, <coughs> but it, it didn't too, start that way. Lorcana, uh, but yes and no. Well, I wouldn't say so much as Pokemon. When the when the price of a box is more yeah. than MSRP, then yes. Because uh, <laughs> but a lot of the single cards are meta based mm-hmm. priced on the market now. Like whatever is yeah, good in the yeah. game, except for the enchanted. enchanted. Yeah. yeah, but yeah. So Pokemon, yeah, back then it was all. P- Pokemon TCG, yeah. it was all, it was like 95% uh, people playing the game. Okay. That's how you sold when products. When it first started, yeah. But now it's like 50-50, if not even more. More collectors. More collectors than yeah. players. Wow. So it's, uh, so yeah, Pokemon is just, it's just huge. Their IP is crazy. Yeah. There's one other one I wanted to talk about. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, day, you were mentioning it yesterday. The one that is, you can digitally get the cards. Uh. <laughs> and then you can print them out uh, or send them in. Yeah, to print it's a Kickstarter game. Alter, altered, altered. Yeah, yeah. I was just like, is that the future <sighs> of TCGs? I mean, so I, I think I m- talked to you about it. Uh, as a as a player, I think, oh, that's a neat idea. Mm. But as a store owner, I was like, yeah, I'm not gonna even bother. Like, that's the worst idea. Right. Yeah. So unless you, know, you have a, you print them out here for a fee. <laughs> but that's not yeah. how it works. Though. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't. I I don't know. I think it could be something that that I don't know. It what, depends. What's I think it could be again? beneficial. Altered TCG. Altered. Altered. Yeah. Altered. It's just it's just new. I guess you could say. It's, um, well, it's something different, right? Something different, that nobody yeah. else is doing. We we're gonna order a little bit of it just because okay. it's different and new. And then worst case, I might just. How do you order it though? Just kick started, is it, right? uh, they have a is it retail form. So they, they sell physical. It's physical products okay. plus digital products. Yeah. Okay. It's like you own the physical card and also like a digital, digital token kind of. It's like okay. an NFT essentially, yeah, which yeah, was yeah. what NFT, TCGs yeah. are anyways. They're like physical NFTs. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's true. So I don't know. I think I think it has potential, but it, I think it also boils down to the thing that we talk about with all TCGs, unless it's Magic community. Pokemon, you have to create that community. Yeah. Yeah. Like, if we become that store that does altered TCG, and then we also have this digital database of cards we can sell to customers, like, mm-hmm. that will work well for yeah. our store, right. but we have to be that, that store, but then we're also competing with all the other f- digital databases of yeah. cards right. across the yeah. world. That's true. So... Uh, what do we do? Maybe we offer like a but very cheap price, but then we offer like a fifty cent fee for every card that we sell through our store. Yeah, I don't know. Like, It'd yeah, be, I don't know how it works. It'd be yeah. interesting to though, like walk into a store and have a digital display where you're like going through, yeah, the car, you know, looking, going through the cards yeah. and be like pop, pop and then you get the I physical card through. right then and there because yeah, yeah I don't want, know. Yeah. And also, I don't know a lot uh, about the game. Yeah. Either. So yeah. I'm speculating gameplay on what the game is does like. Make a difference. <laughs> yeah. Gameplay matters. That's yeah. For gameplay sure. matters. It's on Board Game yeah. Arena. A lot of people are playing it on Board Game Arena, oh, too. Really? Like, Not it's bad. one of the highest played games right now oh. on Board Game Arena. So I'll have to check that yeah. out. Yeah. All right. So I think uh, we'll wrap up and head into a convention segment. All right. All 
All right, so LFG Con segment. We're talking about convention layout, which this, you guys have been doing a lot of like layout design and stuff. It hurts my brain to, like, I'm a very bad spatial awareness person. Like, I think I mentioned to you guys, I need to cut out tables so and put them out. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we go to the con and have it set up. <laughs> yeah, that's like that would be perfect for me. That's what I when we, when we did the store, I had to just move fixtures around. around and like I couldn't just I can't just visualize stuff yeah, unless yeah. I put it in place. Yeah. Um. So I know you guys created a couple layouts, and we want to talk about like how we decide what we're gonna do for the layout, how we decide what types of like experiences fit within the space, um, how we want the space to look when people first walk in. Um, yeah. And then keep it in mind, like. LFG Con, we, we have this idea of a, you know, premier convention, like awe-inspiring type of feel kind of that you get from Gen Con Origins. Of course, we're not going to be that big when we right. start, but that's the idea, right? Um, it's like, we want you all to come, but not all of you. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we want, <laughs> yeah, we want all, yeah, just not more than like 3,000. <laughs> yeah, uh, definitely, you know, something like oohs and ahs, right? Yeah. They're like, oh, that looks fun, you know? Not like, yes, it is a tabletop convention, but we'll offer stuff that's not purely tabletop, you know, experience. Like we have little mini games that's you're not familiar with, or contests, or maybe scavenger hunts, um, bungee jumping, <laughs> <laughs> skydiving, <laughs> like little quests and stuff. Um, trying to figure out things to offer. Yeah. Um, uh, For sure, because I think it's I love playing board games. Uh, but when I go to convention, I feel like I want more than just playing board games. Mm. You know, you know, I want to experience the the, the, vent, the dealer, the exhibit hall, the side Masseuses stuff. Actually, uh, actually, like in Vegas, you know, like yeah, Vegas, yeah. yeah. you're playing yeah. poker actually, and they come by. Like, uh, oh, I'm in my tenth round of Twilight Imperium. Yeah. I need a massage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's not a bad idea. It's not. I mean, I don't know. Like, I wouldn't mind <laughs> trying. weird, but I wouldn't mind trying it out one time. Yeah, one year know, maybe. You're like, you know, your tenth game of Arc Nova in a row. Like, <laughs> All right, yeah, I, yeah. I need, I need a massage. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> um, like but yeah, but so I mean, for layout. Yeah, we were talking about like how we, what kind of experiences, what we want to include in the con. And we just created a list not too long ago of everything. And of course, we're not gonna be able to fit it all. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And we have to decide Space. what gets axed. Um, yeah. But a little bit of background on the space, Burbank Convention Center. We have a big convention hall. Yeah, we yes. have it's a big uh, square, a couple side rooms. We can section off the convention hall, and we have like a back hallway with uh, smaller like rooms, six like office rooms, five or six yeah. office style rooms, and then we have another like smaller ballroom like banquet. Yeah, like banquet yeah. hall. Yeah. Um, so we're trying to decide what goes where um, and what we can offer because of course we've had some ideas and we're like well i don't know if that would work because of the space and mm -hmm. this thing is more important for our first convention yeah. Yeah. i think one was like uh, escape room yeah i yeah. think escape rooms need to have but i think for first con and the size of it and with all the other stuff we like 100 percent want to do it's kind of it hard not to make the cut yeah <laughs> it's kind of hard to squeeze that into yeah. uh, a, a room for it and that's why, like, also a similar experience, scavenger hunt, right? It's kind of similar experience to escape room. You're going around solving uh, puzzles. Yeah. Um, but, it's a, but scavenger hunt, I think it's more, it's easier because, it's, yeah. you know, the space more doable, the spaces for right. wherever you want it to be. Right? So we can kind of, like, offer a similar experience, but we don't have to give up right. space for it. Yeah, um, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then, I mean, you guys both designed a couple layouts. What was that like yeah. designing? I mean, there's a program, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, there the, was a program. There's a program that basically lets you set the tables and, you know, chairs and yeah. whatever sizes you want. And you can put dividers and kind of try to set up the space. And for me, like, I think Day and I maybe differ a little bit. I like to have create spaces inside this square. We have this huge square. So I, meaning this space maybe has a wall and, and this is where the RPGs are. You know, this space might have a wall and it's a TCGs or, you know, whatnot. Mm -hmm. Um but, uh, you know, we could just have it totally open and, you know, you'd have just signs saying this is this area. Yeah, know? I think so. How I kind of envisioned it was mm -hmm. um, that, yeah, registration area. You walk in and right. you see the exhibit hall. Yeah. Right. And the exhibitors um, there. Exhibitors and stuff. And then you'll, then you'll run into on the side would be just 
tables and stuff. And Open then gaming. Um, like gaming. I understand having like look sections mm-hmm. or how you want to. Right, right. This is only TCG. This is only whatever. Right. Um, but in my mind is when I went to PAX, there was like no space to play. Right. So I was thinking in my head, I was like, okay, if we do section only TCG and stuff, but what happens if TCG is not popping? Right. There's all these empty right, tables. Right, right. So, so my, my idea was just, we have a general, general space for mm-hmm. TCG, general like area for board games. And, and then from there, it can, kind of over, it can be overflow each other. You right. Know, they can be flexible. flexible yeah. And then by doing that, um, this is mainly for TCG or t- events, tournaments and TCG is, mm-hmm. uh, when they sign up for a tournament about to happen, they just grab a, you know, everyone kind of goes to the tournament area, like, all right, follow me. This is where we're going to play. Right, right. Katan. Or no, no, tournament. totally. Yeah. I like the idea of walking in and, it, you know, it's got some pizzazz mm-hmm. as you walk in, some cool uh, maybe props. or Oh, yeah. We were talking about having props, these yeah. games that uh, we make bigger. So something like, uh, I think Heat is a super popular game right now. Maybe you have heat. a. Giant, big giant board, <laughs> a giant heat board. Yeah, that would be really giant neat. Cars and move them around. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Um, but things to like really see that you know go. Oh, this is pretty cool. And then yeah. walk right into the. I, I like the idea of walking right into the dealer hall or or you know uh, merchant area because we all like uh, those areas ourselves. Like when we yeah. go to cons, we want we really want to go into those spaces. Um, yeah. I, I think it's it's gonna work photo, out. A lot of good fun old photo op opportunities. Yeah. The yeah. uh the the uh I think we talked about uh if you win a tournament, you go you take a picture with the trophy and the game you mm-hmm. won. That you know, we'll that post it on cool. social media, we'll keep a list of the winners, you know, we yeah. post it at the end of the con and stuff. So just you know we'll have role playing games as well. Yeah, RPG, you know. Oh I, and I like Day's idea. Like he has a uh, an idea for a space, you know, for the um our library so you know we want a quiet room as well we thought marry those two places yeah, right because library is technically supposed to be quiet right yeah <laughs> <laughs> we'll have a cool <laughs> librarian in there or, and they will be like shh, shh. <laughs> <laughs> <Quiet>. <laughs> so we, i want to kind of list a few things if you guys yeah, don't mind that we had it. created I, I this list might be missing some stuff we've talked about but also anybody listening or watching let us know what you would like to see at a con or some things that might be missing that you would like to see. So we have tabletop RPGs, trading card games, miniatures, board game tournament, open space, uh, open space for playing, board game game. library, panels, guests of honor, social deduction games area, Mm. a bar area, merch center, registration, quiet room, recycling cardboard, information, scavenger hunt, Fun stuff, intro, big <laughs> game area. I don't know what that means exactly. It was my note. Uh, first aid, con operations, and media room. Um, oh, yeah. But, yeah, those are yeah. a lot of the First aid is important with all those paper cuts. on. The yeah. Oh, the yeah. Cardboard cuts are deep. Yeah. So <laughs> uh, you said the fun stuff? The fun yeah. stuff, man. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, fun, fun stuff, stuff intro, fun stuff. big game oh. area. Yeah. Oh, that's like the like the oh, uh, prop oh, area, yeah, 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 kind of thing. Um, um, yeah. Photo op area. I, I knew what I was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You there. Stuff like that. Um, yeah. Um, cool. I think we'll end there, right? unless yeah. we have anything else to add. Um, uh, spa- oh, they have a pool. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, we'll have yeah, yeah pool we area. We have a bar. We're area, thinking like of our, yeah. we think yeah. that. Quickly, so but. we're thinking of VIP passes, and mm. one of the thing perk for it is we're gonna have a. You know, they have a pool pool area and they have a outside bar. Sweet. So VIP kind of stuff going on. Yeah, maybe, we got to you know? chat with the hotel, but definitely yeah. an option. Yeah. Right. That sounds cool. Cool. <laughs> well, thanks for watching. I'm Dustin from BG's Tabletop. I'm Dave from Fire and Dice. Uh, George from G and G. All right. We'll see you next time.